In The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Rachel Brosnahan stars as the feisty and talented housewife who takes a gamble as a stand-up comedian when her marriage falls apart. So the Amazon comedy set in New York in the late 50s is a huge hit. We're talking about eight Emmy Awards right out of the gate. Now it's the eagerly awaited season two, and the family is struggling with new decisions. Take a look. Don't think about it. I've been thinking about it since dinner yesterday. We've been without food for 24 hours. Some people never have anything but bread soaked in water. Oh, that sounds delicious. For the sin which we committed before you went to Notice your kid's been stuffing candy bars in his face the entire ceremony. His face is covered in chocolate. He looks like Al Jolson. Be quiet. We are in temple. That's right. And everyone can see that we're talking because these seats are fabulous. Only they were edible. Did you see Mara Weinstock? Six rows back. Oh, you got to get on this train if you're not already on it. Rachel Brosnahan, Tony Shalhoub, Baron Hinkle, Alex Borstein, Michael Zegan, and Kevin Pollack. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Wait a minute. Season two is already off and running. I can't help but think of that Emmy night. I, I actually went and rewatched it, you guys. It was the night where you guys swept cleaned up, won eight Emmys. Will you just take us back to that moment for one second, Rachel? You won one, Alex, you won one, the show won, you won a ton of them. What, what did it feel like in that moment? It was a complete whirlwind. I, I, I didn't know that we were that early in the show either, so it was suddenly like, I, I turned, by the time I got up there, everyone was gone. You were backstage, Amy was gone, I sort of said hi to Tony and went up and blacked out. <laughs> shocked about just how much people have fallen in love with this show? It's interesting. It's an interesting time for the world to embrace a lot of Jewish people. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just live there for a Yeah. <laughs> and when I was looking at the faces of the rest of the people in the audience, and I think this is, this is catching on. And Tony, you guys, you two actually have shot several scenes, not just around here, but you've gone to the Catskills, you've gone to Paris. What are you finding about the show's popularity, not just here, but around the, around the world? Well, when we were in Paris uh, shooting the first two episodes, we were surprised that a lot of our Paris crew, the French crew, knew, knew and loved the show. We were being stopped on the street. And this was just based on just eight, eight episodes of the first season. So it was amazing that it had, the reach was that, that far, that broad. Rachel, I feel like your character was so ahead of her time. When I was watching this, I found myself nodding. I'm out, I found myself going like, you go, girl. You go out there and get it. What do you think it is about her that's resonating with so many women? I mean, I think she's somebody who's insatiably curious. Uh, she's self-empowered. Um, she's asking questions about the world around her. I think, you know, she's aspirational in some way because she shows that it's never too late to head down a new path. Right. To find your voice in a different way. So, Marin, when this show started, did you think to yourself, we got a hit, baby. I could feel it. Did you feel that? No. I, I, all I thought was, thank God, I have a job. <laughs> which works. And also, I started to hear who I was going to get to work with. And the idea that I could be this one's wife and this one's mom and to work with these people. And I, I honestly, you're just so honored to have a job. But then when you get to hear that you work with Amy and Dan, you just kind of go, thank you. Talk about <laughs> the chemistry is undeniable on the show. I don't know if it's you guys, if it's the writing. What What is going on? Is this, are you guys all write off script? It's definitely or, us. Is it all, <laughs> it's all you? <laughs> what? Writing is pretty damn good. <laughs> but what is, I mean, because I, I guess at the Emmys, you guys said we already shot season two and we kind of already miss each other. Describe what this camaraderie is like. I think we spend a lot of time, even at work, reminding each other this is amazing, right? Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're still in that mode. Uh, of being astonished for, for the great words, for the great eight-page scene wonders. You know, all, this kind of work just doesn't exist for the most part. And, and we're, we're just as curious as yeah. the audience is to see what happens to these characters. Well, you play the husband yeah. that was the jerk, <laughs> and your name is Joel. I have a Joel, too, in this. But I heard that the writers were saying that you are kind of your own little Nielsen ratings box. Like, you could tell how well the show was going to do by all the chicks who came up to you on the street and said, like, yeah. Joel! No, I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> uh, they're talking about me. I, 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 and Tony. Me. No, uh, I used to get a lot of people coming up to me and being like, 
you know, you're, you're, I mean, essentially the jerk from that show. But now yeah. they just tell me how much they love it. And it's so nice, you know, just knowing that people are watching it and, yeah. and enjoying it as much as we Alan, are. I just want to say, I think Susie's actually the most handsome man on the show. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well, Alex, I was going to say, it's you're so, so quiet and you are such a scene stealer. Literally, like when you show up, I just wait for you to drop like one of your one of your bombs. You want you want you want an F bomb? Is it <laughs> <laughs> By the way, can I point out too that Carnegie Deli has created like its own sandwich that has to do with your show, and they actually distributed them into our control what? room. Yeah, wow, the there are, are, It's the Maisel. The they're already, the yeah, they're already mm -hmm. eating it right down. So I guess uh, well, actually, my better have guessed that it was brisket. Is that? And what okay. is it, you guys? What Do y'all know? What's the roast beef. Oh, okay. Oh. Close Close enough. Enough. Does it only cost about 50 cents? It costs 50 cents. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you guys, thank you. The thank second you. season is about to start. The Marvelous and Mrs. Maisel. It streams on December 5th on Amazon Prime Video. I encourage you, if you haven't started watching it, you got to get on that train. It's so well worth it.